I've seen a weight increase, a significant weight increase for all the food I've eaten and I'm carrying on. I'm gonna have a little something before going to bed. I have some I have this tweet. I'm gonna have some fruit pasta also. Definitely might have some tomorrow. No, the fruit pastels, I mean, but this is the last one of the Twix. So I've basically had two Twix duos. Basically, that's a lot of sugar. Uh, there, there was a. Uh, yeah, in here. This is one, one bar is uh, 20 grams. Uh, one of these would be 20 grams, so one packet is 40. And there were four of them, so that's 160 grams of Twix, and that's excluding all the fruit pastels I ate. All the sugar that comes with it, that comes with it as well. Yeah, there's some Chinese there as well. <laughs> that I want to have. So yeah, I'll have the Twix and fruit pastels, and then uh, the Chinese. I don't know where the scary is. I can't seem to find it. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I have weighed it. I'll have, I'll have maybe... Like five of the fruit pastels, and have some Chinese, then I can have an accurate guess of how much I actually paid. Because I'd imagine the fruit pastels is worth a similar amount. Because at least I'm exactly, I'm exercising control over how much I'm eating. Because when I was doing my work, I just kept eating them and eating them and eating them. And if I don't want to be a diabetic, uh, I won't want to keep doing that. But anyway, that's it for now, and then I'll, I'll show the, the Chinese later. This is meal four, I think, 9.52 p.m., yeah. I had that meal at 10 o'clock, it's now 10 past 10 and I finished it all. I definitely could go for some more, but maybe, um, hold out. Uh, I feel full, but not stuffed. So I just be overeating. And I want to actually speak about that. I'm finding it really, <clears throat> I'm finding it really difficult to sleep. Or to go to sleep at such times because of all the background noise but it was actually really quiet when i was falling asleep no screens and it was just getting dark it was just a natural light it was lovely after not getting like even four hours of sleep so i think i should for the sake of my own health i should definitely sleep when i was going to sleep around seven o'clock yeah just as much as i can and if not nine o'clock at the latest and then wake up when i wake up and feel refreshed every day and be setting myself away from further away from alzheimer's and other health issues that could be related to lack of sleep and also from a short-term basis insomnia as i don't think i have this but it's just rough sleep, I think. But insomnia, rough sleep, they might be the same thing. I need to step my game up with my education because it's, it's obvious to me at least that I'm not as educated as I could be with knowledge around uh, health issues and just overall health. But 
that will come over time is something that I have to build on and if I don't I probably would just feel regret or experience a feeling of regret knowing that although in my mind I knew better I didn't do better so cheers to doing better eventually bit by bit as I keep on increasing my uh, my work rate I think in order to get to where I am oh to get to where I want to be with learning I could do at least four hours a week on the research as well same way I do four hours a week with the calisthenics and four hours a week with the weightlifting yeah it's really not that difficult all I have to do is just do that and track it and then see how that goes and if I think I'm doing too little then I just increase the work rate on the premise that I don't think I'm feeling too stressed or overwhelmed with doing X, Y, Z. Yeah. All right then. So that's that. Yeah. This is all relevant to nutrition because I sometimes just want to eat away that feeling of uh, stress from all the background noise. Uh, stress eating, I think it's called. Coping mechanisms, I think it's called. Yeah, it just takes my mind away from all the, um, all the, all the stress, all the, no, all the background noise, all the background noise, oh my gosh, it really starts to get loud at night, however, it's something I can work around, if I'm in a deep sleep at around this time, which is 13 past 10, this won't be a problem, I haven't moved out, so, it's just something, even if I had moved out, I, I could still want to file a noise complaint, for example, so, yeah, it's, something i probably will always have to work around every now and then for the rest of my life but yeah that's my plan to work around it go to sleep around seven or if not anywhere between seven o'clock or nine o'clock in the evening or night time rather yeah that way i can uh make it easier for myself to not eat at such times like i have today at 10 o'clock uh at least not as often as i am now and then from there, I should be able to, I, sh I would be making it easier for myself to carry on decreasing my weight as I want to in pursuit of managing my weight. I said to Matt, uh, I don't, I don't look overweight, but I've just got to keep going. I want to be in shape and I have um, weight that's helpful for me, and my goals, my, my way of life. Yeah. So cheers to making that happen. Cheers to working around things, working on my nutrition indirectly through working on my sleep because if i don't i sometimes might just want to eat away the thoughts literally through the food eat away the thoughts of feeling stress and the headache from all the background noise try countering it with a uh, loud rain videos on youtube yesterday and i just have to i think the better the um i think the most appropriate option for me is just to go to sleep at seven or some sometime like that when it's more quiet and in preparation to do that, I could come home at said time that um, I'm thinking of, which I, I won't get into because that's that's a lot of information. But yeah, I don't feel comfortable with uh, saying that. All right, so that's it. That's it in the video. Cheers to getting another one of these nutritional vlogs out. Nutritional vlogs? Daily food vlogs. Uh, it is a vlog. Video log. It definitely is a vlog. But uh, yeah. Cheers and cheers to eating more healthily. In order to do that, I should eat my fruits instead of getting the chocolates. Instead of the sweets, get my fruits that I've prepared for lunch. All right, okay, now I'm done. Peace. Cheers to figuring things out, tackling my nutrition, eating more healthily directly and also indirectly in terms of when I'd have the food uh, through uh, going out the way to work on my sleep routine. All right, peace.